Hi everyone, I am back with another project um, share. Uh, this project um, was uh, inspired by uh, Muriel, who is Miss Cooper's Coop here on YouTube. Um, and she got her inspiration by Tracy's uh, Country Charm by Tracy, um, which is the homespun uh, candy canes. And um, I believe Jill Norwood also shared some last year. So this is my version. I just want to go ahead and first share what I use to create my project. Um, these are some um, branches that is from the Ashland line at Michael's. These are the branches and the bush. This is what I use and I have it here in my little basket. Um, I also used um, the homespun fabric, which I used the checkered red and white um, gingham, I'm sorry, the um, black gingham, the blue, um, and I also used um, this cute little um, gingerbread man. I believe um, Jill had um, share her fabric, the little gingerbread fabric. And then I also use this uh, twine, which is from TJ Maxx. I picked this up at TJ Maxx along with uh, some other um, twine um, that was shared by Felicia, who is Bible Scraps. Um, hi, Felicia. So these are some twine. I do. I didn't use this in this project, but I did pick up the twine that she shared um, in her haul uh, from TJ Maxx. But I ended up for this project, I used this. Um, so let me see what else. Um, the the die. I used some little dies. These are my Spellbinders dies. This is a die that I use from the Maker's Mark. Um, die of the month so I have them all stored in here and I also use some burlap uh, no canvas this is a canvas sheet which came like this from Tuesday morning it was this these four sheets from Tuesday morning I got this um, back in the summertime spring I picked this up so I use this um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I use these primitive and rustic um, metal stars. This is the item number that I um, ordered these from Amazon along with the uh, bells. So these are all the things that I use on my project. So let me go ahead and share what I made. So these are my candy canes. And as you can see, I only put two candy canes together. So I made a bunch of different ones and I just did the crisscross. I believe um, on Pinterest, there's a few people who shared theirs as well on Pinterest um, that you know, you can put them in bunches like Muriel had hers and wrap it with the jute twine. Um, I added the sprays, these here are the branches. I cut the strip of canvas and tied it in a bow. And then I added the little bells and the rustic um, star. So as you can see, this is the blue gingham with the gingerbread fabric. And then this one is the red and the blue. This one is the, again, the gingerbread in the red um, this one is the twine this is the jute twine that I used here and I wrapped it all the way around so basically you just start either at the top or the bottom at the glue and then wrap it so I thought these turned out so cute so I made um, the candy canes I was trying to find the candy canes from the Dollar Tree could not find them at the Dollar Tree um, I had my son out you know shopping for me I've, I've had surgery recently so I was not able to get out and drive so 
bless his heart, he went and picked up my fabric. He got my fabric. He got the, um, what else? He, he picked up a, quite a few things. The fabric, the the bushes. Yeah, so he, he really helped me out. <laughs> bless his heart. So these are my uh, homespun candy canes. And the candy canes, since he couldn't find those, and he did. He went to a bunch of different um, Dollar Trees um, to see if he could find them. And, and he couldn't. So um, we actually found them at the Party City. Party City. Um, so at Dollar Tree, I believe they came in a pack of six. But at Party City, they were 12. So I got two packs. So these are my candy canes. The homespun candy canes that I created. And I think these are so cute. And um, like Muriel you, um, said that you can put these on packaging. You can add an extra um, twine here to hang as an ornament. I am going to lay these around my house in different areas for decorations. Um, I do have some packages to give out. I'm going to actually put these on so in some gift bags. I think these are so cute. And the stamp set, okay, the Merry and Bright stamp set this is the stamp set that I use from Tuesday morning. And here's the stamp right here. Yeah, this is from Tuesday morning. And I embossed them with the these two embossing um, powders from Adirondack. Um, the cranberry and the red pepper. So I thought these were too, too cute. So here are all of my homespun candy canes. Um, I love this project. I, I am in so into the primitive uh, feel for and just basic vintage uh, look. As um, if you, some of you who've been following my channel know that I have typewriters. I collect typewriters, and so some cards that I created. I had my typewriter out, um, making some Christmas cards for that, um, and putting a little message inside. So I um, just want to come and share these projects with you. Um, and thank you all for stopping by and watching my video. Bye.